So you're thinking of moving to Oklahoma from Texas. In this video, I'm going to talk you through some of the pros and cons of moving from Texas to Oklahoma. There are some great things about Oklahoma, but there's also some great things about Texas. Depending on your lifestyle, depending on what's important to you, these things might matter and help make your decision on whether you want to make the move. My name is Kinsley Hauser and I'm a local realtor in the Oklahoma City metro area. If you're thinking of moving in 10 days or even 10 months, I would love just to be able to connect with you and help you plan your move. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can give me a call, text, email, DM, you can schedule a Google Meet so that we can sit down and talk about your potential move. And like I said, in this video, I'm just going to be walking you through some of the pros, some of the cons of moving from Texas to Oklahoma. And so the first thing that I want to start out with is the affordability. Ability. Texas, while also very affordable in comparison to some other areas in the United States, is becoming more and more popular and those prices are increasing very rapidly. And so Oklahoma's prices, I believe, are still more affordable that you're going to find in the majority of Texas. Housing prices are going to be relatively low. You're gonna be able to get more bang for your buck. And so overall, the cost of living, I would say, is one of the biggest pros of Oklahoma versus Texas. The second pro is that while there are a lot of people moving to Oklahoma, I don't think it compares to all the people that are moving to Texas, specifically the Dallas area. And so I know that's causing a lot of issues with electricity, with water. And so you're not gonna have those same issues in Oklahoma that you might be facing in Texas. And I know not everybody in Texas is facing those issues, but overall, I think that those really big metropolitan areas where a lot of people are moving to in Texas and those issues that they're seeing, we're not seeing those same issues here. Pro number three is the community atmosphere. Oklahoma, I would say, has a very friendly environment. People seem to be very welcoming. And I know Texas also does have this environment, but also comes with more of a slower pace of living. I've heard a lot of people say, and less hustle and bustle and getting from here to there. And it's a little bit more just kind of relaxed and chill. And for a lot of people, they prefer this atmosphere and this environment of just a slower pace of life. Again, very friendly faces. You might drive to the store and wave at a few people here and there. In the store, you're able to have conversations and people just are generally very friendly. Oklahoma does have a lot of natural beauty. There's a lot of places in Texas that are also beautiful, but really Oklahoma has a lot of beautiful places as well. There's the Wichita Mountains, there's tons of lakes, there's tons of trees and just natural greenery that really makes Oklahoma a beautiful state when you really get to witness all that it offers. The last pro I have is the seasonal changes because I know Texas tends to be really hot and while Texas does see a shift in seasons as well, you're gonna see some more of those extreme shifts in Oklahoma. And so your winters are going to be a little bit cooler. Your falls and springs are going to feel a little more fall and spring. Your summers are not going to be as hot. And that's one thing about Texas. Texas is so hot and Oklahoma can also be really hot as well. But I would say that Texas extreme heat is definitely hotter than what we experience in Oklahoma. And so being able to have those different seasons and really enjoy each season for what it is, is one of those pros that I like about Oklahoma, getting to experience a winter. And now to the cons, things that might be a con for moving from Texas to Oklahoma. And the first one is the severe weather because Oklahoma is known to be in kind of tornado alley and is known for having a lot of tornadoes. That is one of the cons is you're gonna have a greater threat of tornadoes, hail and wind damage. And, but again, like I say in a lot of my videos, with that also means that you have homes that are well equipped for that. And if not, there's things to put in place to make sure you're more equipped. Weathermen are very great at tracking it. And overall, there is a lot of safety and comfort in the people and the systems that have been put in place in Oklahoma for that inclement weather. Con number two is that you might have less job opportunities in Oklahoma. Oklahoma does have a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of places for employment, but if you're comparing that to the number in Texas and specifically those big metro areas, you're not going to have as many. But again, that's not to say that there aren't any, just not going to be probably as many. The next one, and this is kind of showing some similarities between Oklahoma and Texas, but I would say overall, they do have a very similar cultural and feel. Like I said earlier, kind of some Southern hospitality, but there are some distinct cultural differences between the two as well. There's a lot of people moving to both states, which is bringing in kind of cultures from other places, which is kind of unique and it's starting to create its own culture within Oklahoma and within Texas. 
but I will say that that you might find kind of a distinct shift from Texas to Oklahoma for better or for worse there definitely is a difference between the two and kind of just one of those things that you have to see what kind of feels more natural and right for you. The next con is that Oklahoma is going to be a little bit farther from some major cities, but also this can be a pro because you're also closer to other major cities. But if you think about Texas, Texas has some huge metropolitan areas. You have the Dallas Fort Worth area, you have Austin, you have so many places in Texas that are very popular, very populated, that offer a lot to the state. Oklahoma has the Tulsa area, it has Oklahoma City. Those are gonna be two main areas of Oklahoma. And so you're not gonna have as much in Oklahoma as you do in Texas. There's no Ikea, there's no Six Flags. You know, these are things that we have things similar, but they're on a smaller scale. Texas definitely does have more, it's bigger, there is more to do. But the great thing about Oklahoma is that you're not far from those cities. And with Oklahoma, you're also closer to everything north. So you're closer to Kansas City, you're closer to St. Louis. And so there's just a lot of things about Oklahoma that is different from Texas. And again, for better or for worse, you can kind of look at it and see what's better for you. In the end, Oklahoma and Texas do have a lot of similarities. There's a lot of things that are similar to them and that really makes the move from one state to the next very natural. Some people might move and not really feel like they made much of a move at all because the cultures and the environments do tend to be pretty similar. However, like I've talked about in this video, there are some differences. There are some things that Oklahoma has that Texas doesn't and vice versa. And so if you are thinking of making that move, I have helped people who have been looking for moving to Texas to Oklahoma and I would love to be able to help you as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And again, I hope that this video was helpful and I will catch you in my next video.